Hello and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. So I am picking up teeth because it's fun to pick up teeth. There's definitely a tooth here. Where is it? Da, 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 da. There it is. There's a tooth. And we'll get the tooth there. Because I'm going to be throwing these at people because I think that's... Whoa, that's a lot of teeth. Holy crap. Because, yeah, I mean, throwing is just so hilariously broken that, I mean, you can break somebody's spine by throwing vomit at them, so... You know, I think that that's, uh... Fine. I could... Can I pick up that foot? Yep, that doesn't slow me down at all, so... I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that foot. There we go. Uh, anything there... Two-handed sword. Yeah, well... You don't feel safe enough to travel. Oh, shit. You know, I think there might still be some people here. Oh, yeah. I just ran right the fuck past him. <laughs> oh, that was just like... Proper... Proper dangerous moment there. Okay, the bowman's knocked over, so... Yeah, having charges as my default... Uh, Combat stance is pretty cool, actually. Well, why the hell can't I get any good strikes on him? Let's just uh, kick him in the upper body. Missed and counter-striked and missed and... Let's go! Uh, nothing good there. Alright, so let's try hacking an arm off. There we go. He's lost... He's lost his left upper arm, and he's given into pain as well, so... Uh, can we not feed on him? Uh, well, I guess not. Well... I guess we'll, uh... We'll just... Did he just, like, wake up again? Well, we've cut off his, uh... I mean, he lost hold of the copper bow, because I cut off his head. Oh well. He wasn't using it. Right, now we can travel, and uh, I kind of need to go back to the fortress to pick up more soldiers, to be honest, because I've got like two of them now. And uh, yeah, I mean, northwest is where we're supposed to go. Where though? Um, yeah, this... Zoom to selected. Alright, it's a pretty long way then. So... I mean, we're about halfway there. Uh, you see, I could just go into this town here and see if they have any people that I can hire. But it's not always guaranteed in a town. I mean, in, in that force, I know that there's guys there. And I know that I can wait an hour and there'll be more guys after I've hired them all. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. I have no companions. Yeah, those other guys must have just bled to death or something. Oh god, this looks like a podunk shit all. Where is everyone? Any soldiers in here? Got a bowman. They don't seem to last very long though. Yeah, off we go. Who's that in the back there hiding behind someone? Hello? Are you the bouncer? Anybody in here? Uh, nope. Hey, there's a building. What the fuck? This place is just empty. Come on. Anybody in here? No. I could just attempt to hire peasants, but uh, I don't think they would be particularly keen on it, really. Unless I've hit a field. That's no good. What is this blue shit here, anyway? Uh, des dense grammar? Dog's tooth? I think it's just blue because it's night time, maybe? Where the hell am I? I'm still in the... Yeah, this is a really small town here. God damn it. So I guess I was l probably lucky just to find this one bowman, really, but... Uh, what have we got here? Come on, get in the door. Ah. Stuff in the way. What's this big building? It's one of those really big, weird, long buildings that only has an entrance at one end. 
just to annoy the crap out of you. Well, anyway, I'm going to wait here until dawn. Don't ask permission, I guess. Oh, we can actually report the success of killing that goblin overlord. My own girl flew wicked rot forever in the underworld. Yeah, goodbye. Wait till dawn. Ooh. Right. Oh man, I gotta just not buy such cheap wine next time. This stuff is just... Ugh, one step away from being vinegar is uh, putting it mildly. Oh, that's a big storm. I'll walk around that. Head back to the fort here because I ain't getting any soldiers in that town. It's not happening. Uh, oh well, I'm sure we'll be attacked along the way again. And I uh, have to hire more soldiers. Like some kind of horrible meat grinder. Oh, I know the entrance is here. I've been here before. Here we go. There should be somebody just behind the door. And then a couple more over in the corner over there. Hello, please join me. This is Devsem Brim Whips. Brim's Whips? Okay. Another bowman. Um, Okgush Combine Boarded. Can I be of some help? You can. And you, sir? This is Udi Bread Dabbling. Awesome stuff. Plenty of soldiers here. Plenty of cannon fodder. I am excited to join you. Good stuff. Uh, this is Opti Rapid Scrape. Uh, was there any up here last time? No, I don't think there was, was there? It's all just loot and empty rooms. So, yep. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that lord's just, that lady is just like, hey, you come back, you've killed the goblin. And just like, nope, just, uh, just stealing your soldiers. Don't mind me. So yeah, you can see when you're out of the fort there, because there's just like a, a absolute tree line where the trees just start, which is nice. Okay, so night is rapidly approaching. But we have to go past the town to get to where the goblin is, so we'll uh, go stay here for the night. And we might just have a little look around, see if there's any soldiers. Might as well, because there should be somewhere. Well, there's usually one or two, but I don't know. We've discovered a river. Alright, I'm going to experience that. There we go. Alright, where the hell am I? Uh, what do I press? Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgetting the controls. Oh shit, I can't quick travel here. I'm in the abyss. It's a bit too close to the river, I think. So I want to go to the north. Here we are. Uh, I would actually kind of like these miners to join me. Oh, yes. Fucking A. I've got some miners. Pickaxes are just crazy, man. Surely any better place is better than this. Alright. Got some miners. I don't think I've ever had miners join my party before. This is cool. So I'm quite excited to see what kinds of damage they do. I know the bigger my party is, the more... Uh, people I attract for ambushes, but, you know, it's fun. It's fun to get ambushed and everybody die. As long as it's not me. Alright, anybody in here? No? Come on, lag. Let's quit it for five seconds. Alright, so what's in there? I've got somebody in the corner. Uh, another lasher. They're pretty useless, but how big is my squad now? Ten. That's pretty cool. And... Nope. 
Nobody we want in there. Was that a miner? Did I see a miner? No. What are those guys? Woodcutter. Well, they know how to use an axe. Uh, so I guess I'll have a couple of woodcutters. Was that, I'm sure I saw another one. No. It's a bit strange that I'm getting uh, like normal guys to join me. Why can't I go up there? Oh, I can. It's just lagging. There we go. So, a few fishery workers, I think. Yeah. And, whoa, that's a, just a big hole in the ground. There we go. Oh, there is actually a slope there, but I can't get down it for whatever reason. Oh, that's uh, a roof. <laughs> that's why. I could just jump off the roof, really, but... Any more houses? Any more noble peasants who want to join my cause of running around and dying? No? Okay. Well, we'll just um, wait here till dawn. Permission to stay for the day, please. Goodbye, architect. The most useless of professions. I'll drink some wine. Mmm. So we are actually thirsty here. See, all of them are asleep. I feel like I should be able to drink their blood, but... You know, after the last guy, I'm just not going to risk it. Because, uh, yeah, I actually want to do quests. I want to battle dragons. And uh, I don't want to stumble around in the wilderness trying to find the bloody things. So, north, north, east. So, we basically just want to go around the edge of this town. <coughs> just keep going north. There it is. That thing there. Goblin camp. Okay. My predictions for this are not good. You can't sneak because somebody can see you. Come on, really though? Who? Who can see me? Oh shit. What is that? That's an elf elite bowman. Does he have wooden arrows? No, he has fucking iron arrows and a masterwork iron bow. Shit. Why am I coming up against these insane fucking strength guys here? This is madness. Alright, I'm gonna... You jump away from the flying iron arrow. Wow, okay. Alright, it seems like... Is my miner getting any hits in there? I want to see this shit. That's a woodcutter, actually. He's charging at the elf elite bowman. Yeah, go woodcutter. Nice one. Okay, so... What's at the back there? I see a, go a goblin bowman at the back. I'm gonna... Ugh, Jesus Christ. It's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, yep, would like to move away from these guys. Uh, there's a dwarf over there. It's a real hodgepodge with these goblin civilizations. Dwarven spear, masterwork iron spear. Holy shit! I'm taking that. If I survive and he doesn't, I'm having that shit. I'm not gonna wield it, but I'm gonna fucking throw that shit at people. Okay, so this guy just missed me with an arrow, so let's, uh, which leg is that? That is the right lower leg. I should be able to hack that off. Uh, there we go. We have chopped off his right lower leg, and he's tumbled backwards. So, got an easy strike on his upper body, and we've torn apart his heart. Uh, let's try chopping off that arm as well. And there goes his arm. And we should be able to just keep hacking at him until he dies. Oh shit. Uh, let's move this way. Oh fucking hell. Right, I've got a few guys around me here. <laughs> yeah, there's the bowman there who, he's going to die. So we can leave him. 
Uh, goblin Axeman. Goblin Lasher. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much. Goblin Maceman. Dwarf Spear Master. Goblin Crossbowman. Goblin Axeman. They're all fucking right next to me. So yeah, that, that Goblin bled to death, as I predicted. And so now I really, really need to, like, sidle away from there. And there's the guy we need to kill, Nako Esteemed Fell, prepare to die. I'm not quite sure where he is. But, um, yeah, we need to shuffle away from these goblins here, because that is a fuckload of them. We're gonna throw a copper dagger at one of them, I hope it does some stuff. Uh, we hit him in the upper body, shattering the right true ribs. So that's pretty good. But uh, we did get hit in the upper leg from behind. Quite sure how that works. And that's chipped the bone. So, yeah, our ability to stand is lost, I would imagine. Yep, yes it is. Oh dear. And we have uh, a goblin, a dwarf, a goblin, a goblin, a goblin, yeah. We have a world of pain about to bear down on us. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Okay, let's take out my pine crutch. And stand up. And, oh god. Yeah, we still have... Right, let's try and take out the spear master, because that guy's going to be a bit pokey with that stuff. What hand are you holding that spear in? Your right hand. Okay, I'm going to prioritize your right hand, if I can. I'm not going to be able to land it squarely, but I'm going to try and hack at it anyway. So, I've knocked him over, and he's tumbled backwards, and I've been shot in the left upper leg with another arrow shattering the bone, so both of my legs are broken now and I can't stand up because I don't have another crutch <laughs> so I've got one crutch for my right leg but fuck uh, I've got an arrow stuck in my right leg as well I mean, you know, if I wasn't a vampire I would probably be dead by now but um yeah, this is just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Right, right hand. Try and slash it again. It's parried and then I blocked about five fucking bolts in a row. <laughs> I don't quite know how I managed to do that. But uh, yeah, some of my allies are still... are still fighting over there. That's good news. But uh, we managed to jump away. There's the bloody fucker. The bloody fucker. He's got a masterwork silver scourge. Where are these masterwork weapons coming from? This is mental. I've never seen this many. Okay, I'm going to prioritize this lasher here. Where is he? He's right there. Goblin lasher. Left hand. Let's try and get that left hand off so he drops that weapon. Oh, I do have a really easy strike on his upper body, though. What was that? La See, I think I can get... well, we can... what about his left arm? No. No, his entire left arm is just... can't land squarely. We can chop off his leg, though. Uh, so I've hacked off his leg. There we go. So he's fallen over. Oh, that's somebody else has fallen over, but... I should have both fallen over. And, uh, yeah, I seem to be doing okay here. I've just blocked the Spear Master. I'm going to try and chop off his right hand again. Uh, I know it says it won't land squarely, but... Yeah, he stabbed me in the right upper arm with the Iron Spear. And I've lost hold of my crutch and the Iron Shield. Ugh, that's really bad. Uh, he twisted the spear around in my right upper arm and <laughs> I was shot in the head with an iron bolt fracturing my skull uh, which is lodged firmly in the wound yeah I'm uh, I'm pretty tough but uh, this is death now I'm going to die 
there's just no two ways about it but I'm gonna go out fighting that's for damn sure so I've got a pretty good strike at the spear dwarf's head here I'm gonna try and chop it off oh, he's parried it oh god I've lost an arm the dwarf spear master stabs you in the right hand with her iron spear and the severed part sails off in an arc uh, yeah, luckily that was the hand, well I say luckily, I've just lost a fucking hand, but that was the hand that I was carrying my shield in, so I've still got hold of my axe. There's only one guy right next to me right now, so... Right, this is tricky, but if we land it, it'll be square. So let's try and hack their head off. Oh, I jumped away. See, our speed is just really... Oh, I think we're gonna bleed to death. Yeah, even vampires can bleed to death. Yeah, we got a faint down there. That's not good at all. Not not good at all. Okay, we've lost some of our teeth. That's some shot, that is. Flying silver bolt hit us in the teeth. Okay, let's try this again. Let's hack off their head. Uh, and the shot is blocked. Wow, I am fucked. I don't know if any of my guys are alive. D. My bowman is visible. He's on the ground. Uh, bleeding in extreme pain. And he's drowsy. Yeah, it's the problem with uh, waiting instead of sleeping. As a vampire, I don't need to sleep, but... Oh, bloody hell. Five adjacent enemies. Take your pick. I'm gonna try and go for the uh, spear master again. No. Can't get anything good on him. I think that uh, perhaps this is going to be the end here. Let's try and hack off your left arm. Uh, I might manage to sever a motor nerve, tear apart a muscle. Um, what else happened to me? An iron arrow struck me in the lower body, tearing the muscle and bruising the stomach. And the spear master is just totally fixated on my right arm. He stabbed me again. And opened an artery. And he's just twisting it around in the wound. And the leader kicked me in the head. The leader is next to me, is he? Or she? Was it? Uh, no, it is a he. Well, I'm just going to attack them. Where are they? Nako Uzeklaxu, leader. So, easy strike, tricky strike, square, eh, give it a go. I miss. Yeah, I mean, oh, what have I lost now? Oh, I lost possession of the iron spear, as in he pulled it out of my fucking arm. Right. I want to chop something off you, hack his arm off. Yes! You hack the leader in the left upper arm with your iron battle axe and the severed part sails off in an arc. Oh, I'm pale. I'm gonna die very, very, very soon. Oh no! Oh no, it made me dodge further away from the leader. What happened? I scramble away and roll away. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to attack the leader. Where is he? Because, yeah, I wanted to, like, at least finish the quest before I, uh... Is that him there? I'm just going to start throwing stuff at him. I have teeth. All is not lost. The leader jumps away from the tooth, okay? Uh, bloody hell. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff happening, right? Uh, where is he? Where'd he move to? Is that him there? Wow, he just moved a long way away. Oh shit. Well, I have a mortal wound, but that doesn't really mean much when you're a vampire. But, um, yeah, it's torn my right lung. I don't need to breathe. Whatever. <laughs> I would most certainly be dead if I was not a vampire, though. Absolutely certainly. Uh, oh, I can only scratch or bite. What's happened? Did I lose an arm? Uh, the left hand... Right, I lost hold of the iron battle axe. I have not lost my hand, but I may have lost the ability to grasp. 
Ability to stand lost, ability to grasp lost. Okay. So basically I can shove people and scratch them. Uh, okay. Well, let's try biting them in the head. I miss. Oh, I'm dead. Bloody hell. Who got the, uh, well, I bled to death. I would say that the spear master could claim the skill, the, the kill there, because they royally screwed me over. They just fucking stabbed me full of holes. This world is tough. I mean, masterwork. Weapons everywhere. Like, enormous goblin camps. There's so many here. I mean, I know I brought a huge army with me, of like 12 guys, but holy shit. Right, okay, well, let's retire, or, you know, just accept our death. Hmm. Synchronizing folders. So yeah, let's go and have a look at Legends mode, just briefly. He didn't live that long, so uh, we'll just have a look, see what... Okay, here we are. Historical events left to discover. So, historical figures, we should be somewhere near the bottom. There we are. Male human vampire. Nimu rain swept the momentous tribute of hoisting. Letters missing, letters missing. So, uh... Yeah, the same spiel that you get at the start of all of these. Uh, began wandering the wilds, confronted the vampire, and consumed the tainted blood. And we became a hero in the eyes of the Empire of Crystals, even though I just immediately scrammed some uh, vampire blood right in front of them. And then I killed vile hags, vile hags, more vile hags. And uh, became a hero in the eyes of the Reign of Bristling. I presume that's another human civilization. The same as the single Torment. Uh, became an enemy of the Confining Torments. I think that's the goblins that kept trying to ambush us. Uh, and then we struck down some goblins. I struck down Bax Box whatever vowel that is that's missing. Oh, right. That's not doing anything. Yeah, I struck someone down with an iron shield. I don't remember doing that, but okay. Uh, yeah, I mostly kill people with the iron axe. It's pretty beast. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to actually getting somebody who can go out there and find these masterwork weapons and actually use them. And uh, Yeah, there you go. Bled to death, slain by the dwarf, Ficard machine outrage of the Nine Spear. So as I said, the Spear Dwarf does get the credit for my kill. And uh, my body was impaled on an acacia spear by the malignant jaws in Entrance Plague. So if I go to that place again, if I go to that camp with a future adventurer, which I think I'll try to do, I will find my old body there, I'll find Nimu's body there, impaled on a spear. And I should be able to recover that and give it a hero's burial or something. Oh, I was a hero to just like everybody. Look at that shit. Holy fuck. I was only an enemy to uh, two groups there. One of which was the... Yeah, one of which was the bandits that eventually killed me. And one was just a random bloody goblin civilization that just pissed off because they're goblins. So, 11 kills, that's really not very impressive. But, uh, you know, I think the manner in which I got a lot of these kills, especially those vile hags, I cut them in half in one shot. Like, <laughs> I think that's pretty impressive. So, uh, yep. R.I.P. in peace, Nimu, and uh, I'll see you next time on Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode.